Alright. Let's get some streaming going. I'm booting up the game here, so let's you take a second. Superior okay, okay, power. not There's now. On your dishes, but did you also know you just I, I just got served I just got served an ad on SoundCloud. How dare you? I'm the one who serves the ads. <clears throat> Let's get on pumping to Crusader King's Trois. I'm told that that is French for three. I have a ripping headache and I'm hoping this caffeine kicks in. Guys, while this is booting up, I'll show you what I was working on yesterday. I have got I'm going to be recording this the next day, or over the whole course of today, and this is the script for the entire Cathay army list that I have speculated. My brain is goop right now. Like, I stayed up writing this thing, and I actually, like, I, I'm pretty good at, like, just slamming those out and being done, but... I, there was research to be done and there was and there was this and that and this and this so it just became such a cumbersome um process like holy crap the new tabletop game called conquest uh which one dragon let's take a look together as friends tabletop game conquest probably have the Last Arguments of King? The Last Argument of Kings? The one that's like... I have not. This looks pretty sweet, though. Oof. Oof. Why'd you show me this, dude? This looks insanely cool. Here, guys, go. If, for those of you that are curious, here is a link in chat. I am moving, Corey. I am moving, my dude. Just to somewhere else around here. But the lease is up, and we must move on. Such is the way of things. So, let's take a look. Let's recap where we're at here. So, um, we got a lot of... I'm definitely caffeine addicted. Um, we got a lot of land covered, right? We knocked out Mercia just last episode and dude I wish I lived in the red light district and we have got a nice big swath of Scotland we now took over a lot of Ireland too in Brienne, Oriel and Elich sorry if I mispronounced those um, and we're pretty set to do some more expanding so I I wanted to expand here into Ulcery, but the problem with that is we actually don't have, let's declare war, I'll show you. We can't conquer duchies because we are not illustrious just yet. What is draining this so much? Unraised men at arms. Ah, meow, 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 that'll do it. Empty council positions. We gotta give it, we're a little bit over domain limit too. Um, we can get some more spouses, so maybe we do take a look at that. The problem I have with it is, I just, look at how many kids we've got. I don't like to, I don't like to have to deal with a ton of male heirs. And as it is, we've got two male heirs and three daughters. It's actually kind of a really good amount. We're going to keep having kids because I'm 29 and my wife is 25. So it's going to be a uh, issue of sorts. Succession won't be very fun. But I've got the Tanistry elective, which makes succession a lot easier for me. Oh, what? Oh, I thought that was a guy. I was like, I can I married men? Um, inheritable traits. It's by age. Let's actually do choose. Oh, well, that's actually not a bad idea. I do, OS, I do. What's up, Flinson? What's up, Franco? How are you guys doing? Um, 
can create a number of those powerful vassals. Okay, um, we do want to take out Upland here, but Upland is pretty strong. Actually, we're way stronger than them. The biggest problem is like I don't want to have to deal with. If we attack Upland here, if I were to say, hey, I'm going to do this, declare this war, and do a holy war for the county, the problem with it is they have more men combined across their entire military alliance than we do. Onsen, I'm glad to hear that, man. Very glad to hear that. Very, very glad. And I just really don't want to deal with that scenario right now because it'll take a lot of momentum out of our rapid expansion because in this situation if i go to war with upland and even though i just want this county i'll have to take the county and maybe some landing parties which i mean if i'm smart about it if i kind of get in a sense of where they're going to land i can actually probably uh what is this Are you guys about to do a big old raid? Because you won't like it if you do. But who are you? Who are you? Oh, that's okay. That's Sturker. Okay, okay, that's fine. I like, that looks the same flag. This is the one from over here. <clears throat> now, I... Yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sorry, guys. We could take out East Anglia, which is a pretty good one. Um, what's their war declaration look like if I just did a... Let's just say Counter Duchy. Counter Duchy. Petty Kingdom. So they have we have similar militaries. I I'm a little bit stronger. So that's an option. What I do want to work on is getting my prestige higher because right now doing the individual wars on counties is not very um not smart. It's not the word I'm looking for. It's not just, it's not very efficient. There's the word I'm looking for. So, I mean, I would love to just do a full declaration of war on Leinster and take out Osri. What I think we're going to do, though, is do a war on Ormond. What, really? Oh, they're individually doing it. That's interesting. So, uh, Denmark isn't doing a war on Ormond. This, uh, this vassal is an interesting turn of events there. So what we can actually do to prevent that from happening is do our own war right now. <clears throat> we'll become the war target if we take it over, but it's only this guy. See? Oh, he still has a sizable amount of troops. Yeah, Franco, we're definitely going to do that right now. Going on a pilgrimage wouldn't be a bad idea. Only 44 viewers today, guys, so please do make sure you are liking the stream. It helps me out a ton. Sound the horn. So, and you see, like, the big thing here is, like, Gwynedd, I could declare a war on him, but I have to take this, well, actually, I think this is, oh, yeah, see, I mean, declaring a war on this, these by county, that's going to be so brutal. <laughs> Look at that. That's just not going to, that's not going to happen. So, we need to get that, the ability to do a war on a duchy as fast as we can. And we'll hold off on... And also, Wessex splintered, as you can see. They had a bit of a succession issue when uh, Alfred the Great died. <clears throat> the, the behemoth that he was. And the son, Ethelwolf, is going to be dealing with some issues here. Kent... I don't even know how to pronounce this. Hwichi? Hwicha? Gwent, all these locations have pretty much splintered. Hmm. Yachtlander. Conquest of the Lordship of Gwent. Yeah. And that's another thing is I have to I should take these Northern Isles. 
Because they're allied together and they're pushing into Gwent here and they're going to start to make a presence. That will be very annoying to deal with. These guys have splintered off into their own faction and we're starting to get French incursion too. Holy War for the Petty Kingdom of Cornwall. So we're going to have a late... As they expand here, we are definitely going to deal with um, opposition from West Francia. But we've got quite the quite the day ahead of us here, guys. So let's think of how to do this. I mean, I could. Maybe marry one of your sons to Gwynedd and capitalize on Wessex. So, what would be the benefit of doing that? I mean, personally, I don't see a huge, I don't see a huge power play in marrying my son into this line, even though I can't anyway. Piglet, Piglet's a badass. Constantine is also a badass. Look at him just marrying him off to eighteen-year-olds. What a little, what a little. What a little bad hat. Marry the son to France? I mean, doesn't look like I can. I could marry it to Wessex. It wouldn't give me any claims, though, which is unfortunate. But it would give me an alliance with the strongest nation on the island outside of myself. Which isn't bad. Man, now that I think about that, that actually kind of sounds like a good idea. <clears throat> and basically, Wessex and Scotland can act as a conjoined bastion against Francia. Because this will allow them to stay... Because if that happens, then we keep them in Cornwall. Where's what's his name? Yeah, the old alliance is a is a very historical alliance, consisting of France and Scotland. Yeah, that he doesn't have any kids though to marry into. <clears throat> I could do that and create a French alliance. See, but the problem with a French alliance is <clears throat> excuse me, guys. It means that France will have carte blanche with the southern portion of England. I don't want them to take portions of England. I want to have it. So if I'm if I'm soon to become the emperor of Britannia, having a foreign nation try to eat up portions of this land is not going to be easy. It's easier having Wessex as an ally. And then once the alliance falls apart, I can go against them. And actually use them because basically I would I would be depleting their forces by pulling them into into engagements. Uhtred, son of Us Uhtred, from Essex? I'm in behind the door. Hogan, what's up, man? New haircut, I see? Yeah, I'm still bald. <laughs> I mean, Aquitaine I could do a, an alliance with, I suppose. Dude, look at how many kids. He's got seven kids. Ooh. Hard to decide. <clears throat> yeah, 
Yeah, I, Franco, I'm with you on that. Like, I don't like marrying my children, my sons, for anything other than breeding. <laughs> <clears throat> It's unfortunate that that piglet though didn't get the robust here. It's it's great that he got what's it called? Genius. I mean, I'll take genius over robust, but I'm trying to get all three going. Ooh, I didn't... No, I don't want you to be injured. We'll have you go, Marshall. It, there's just... <clears throat> having kids go intrigue that you don't intend to um, play as can be really punishing. Because it's like, oh, that character didn't become king. They're going to be salty about it. <laughs> Yeah, I'm trying to strengthen the bloodline, but... Angus. That's not a bad call. This just keeps an alliance up north with me. So Amazonian, Amazonian, and Genius would probably be pretty good if I need to play as this character. But I could also go Handsome. The King of Scotland. Oh, we're free already, Josh. Yeah, I think this is actually a good marriage here. Oh, ho, ho, never mind. Yeah, we don't want that. <clears throat> Age. Hmm. We'll hold off a little bit. See what kind of comes up. Let's just do another war here and kind of kind of figure out what we're going to do with that. Oh, who's attacking who? Oh, the Kirkian clan that rolled him with Aaron. Ooh, you're about to get you're about to get pushed into the mud, buddy. Okay, well, he likes me a little bit more. Scandinavia, not yet, not yet. Uh, no, we will not split into two kingdoms. Like, we'll just have a, a, my son will become a duke. <clears throat> Which is fine. Which is fine. Um, I'm trying to decide. I, I think we should eat up more of Ireland here in the meantime. It's probably the best bet. <clears throat> I'll fix the overdomain. Overdomain limit. What did we get that it's overdomain? I thought I gave away everything. Oh. Yeah, there we go. Managed domain. That fixes that. <coughs> 
Hey, Sumo, thank you very much, man. What did you say here? First donation of the day. Oh, looks like Sumo bought the Total War Warhammer 3 pre-order for from Nexus. Yeah, guys, if you have not yet pre-ordered the game for um, uh, Total War Warhammer 3, or if you just want to purchase any of the Paradox games, you can go ahead and head on over to my Nexus store and purchase through there. Um, I get a pretty sizable cut, and it helps out the channel in a big way. Wait a minute, that's the first donation of the day. David Denya gave a donation. <laughs> Sorry, David. I'm insensitive. My brain is just kind of fried out today, man. From making that, that uh, Cathay script and just... I have, like, really bad allergies, so... It's starting to go away, though. We're, we're almost back to normal. Okay. Oh, man, there he is. There he is. Big Piglet swinging in with the 500 Swedish Kronu. So kind, naming a tune. My PC flatlined the other day, though, so I'm afraid this will be the last donation in some time as I recoup my losses. Thank you for all your wonderful content. Thank Keep it coming. Well, thank you very much for all your wonderful donations, man. Uh, very, very, very kind of you. Like, you've dropped so much money in, in the last, like, month and a half, two months, so don't even apologize about not being able to donate more. You've done more than enough. And I really, really appreciate it, dude. Thank you very, very, very much, Piglet. What happened to your computer, though? My, my CPU fan error keeps kicking off, and I have to, like, I have to clear the power to my motherboard by shutting off the PSU and then turning it back on. It's been kind of crappy. Oh, okay, add on me. Okay, so let's take out... kind of just wanted... I, maybe I should just do Difflin for this and... Well, can't subjugate him. I'd like to just subjugate him and just get it over with. And but that would—I don't really want to expand over here. But it might have to happen. Maybe we have to just do East Anglia. Do we still have this alliance with Derby? Darby, Darby, with Darby. What's up, YouTube? Uh, we moved it to Edinburgh probably the first episode, or the beginning of the second episode, at least. Oh, they're in it as an ally. I see. No, they're not. This is a two-pronged war? Oh, there they are. Yeah, 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 yeah. They are fighting against her. Okay, I see. Yeah, I agree with you, man. I don't want to have to deal with that. <sighs> I'd rather just do this duchy. Okay, let's see. We, we started this feast. Let's have it just go off. Or the hunt, I mean. No, uh, we retained it, YouTube, because it's part of Scots. It's part of the, the culture group. This is my courtier, Elaine, started to dismount one foot still in the stirrup. My useless cousin, Earl Artgall, made sure to bump into the horse, sending her stumbling across the camp. Dude, what is wrong with this guy? There's no way for an Earl to act. You get mediator for five years. Dude, he is... He's about to be... deposed. <laughs> is he losing this war? He's going to be losing this war. And with that, I lose him as a chancellor, which I'm not too concerned about. He's kind of a penis. Who's Elaine, anyway? Just a person. Okay. You know what? This guy is... Living from a bruised rear, huh? You know what? This is no way for an Earl to act. You might be my cousin, but you're being a shithead. A hunt the rude vassal. Bone hand, quiet steps eyes on the heart in front of me. A deep breath and... Ugh, is that Earl Arkall? My traitor's cousin is creeping through the plains ahead of me, fully concentrated on the 
flirt on the flighty heart and oblivious to my presence. <laughs> Maybe I shoot him. Remember, this character's kind of a tyrant. <laughs> we've kind of we've kind of made this character who rules with an iron fist, but is just but fair. That's kind of the way I've taken this guy. DC, thank you very much, man. Dropping uh <laughs> dropping ten pounder. This is not the way. <laughs> Do it. Oh, oh no, please, no, don't get in the way of my bow and arrow. I tried to intervene, but before I knew it, the heart had trampled him. At least he did not have to die alone. Others not questioning my story about this tragic passing, I only wish I could have done more. Such an unfortunate ass accident. Oh no. Earl's, the Earl's dead. What do we do? It's the Earl's son. <laughs> oh man, he was in my blind spot. That was that guys, I'm not gonna lie, that was really bad. <laughs> but I loved every minute of it. And look at this. We could put other better people in, in their locations. So he's got really good intrigue. But is there anyone better for that? He's a good courtier. We can make her the uh, cupbearer at least. Yeah, let's do this. And this guy's an actual duke. He does have the intrigue thing, which is kind of... We'll, we'll put him on the council. And the cupbearer can be... We can actually make it my uncle to, to kind of calm him down a little bit. He's on the way out anyway. I'm not really that worried about him. But he's vindictive. Ah, uh, the hunt is drawing to an end. We mount our horses to leave the plains behind as the service repair the heart and the other game for the journey back. In spite of our difficulties along the way, the hunt went very well. <laughs> <laughs> Minus the killing my cousin on somewhat of an accident. Is that is that a oh that is a hook? Uh oh. Yeah, make sure you disrupt those schemes, my dude. It was like clearly an accident. I wish if you had high enough dread. And someone made like, like, hey, I discovered your scheme to, to kill, or that you murdered this person. I, like, if your dread's above 80, you should be like, oh yeah, did you? Come over here, you're dead. Like, there should be a way to one up. Because I feel like a lot of decisions in Crusader Kings 3 are one way, right? I'm going to do a hook on you. And I get that hook. Well, I should have a way to counter that outside of passive trying, passive counterings, like disrupting schemes and the such. I should have the ability to say like, okay, my character is wrathful and he has a lot of dread or a lot of intrigue so I can counteract what you're doing actively in that screen. Kind of in the same way where you get the two uh, vassals that are having a, uh, like, oh, my, my defensive way is better or my offensive way is better. Well, I have enough um, martial skill that I can say, Hey, both your ways are good. Let's take them both. I, I think that there needs to be more of that in this game. <clears throat> Graham, it doesn't take the most time, but it does take a good amount of time. Well, you, my friend, are about to become a Duke, Mortimer. How do you feel about that? The Duke of Strathclyde, who will also get Annandale over here in due course. Oh, we have to create the Duke of Strathclyde. I forgot about that. My eldest son is being educated by someone. <laughs> this will actually give us some prestige. Damn. Just short. I know, it's... 
I know Mormer's a title, right? So uh, Duke Drosten. Nope, you do not get that. You get this. I want to give you that. I'll just give him this. And then we'll later grant him a vassal here. Actually, we should just grant him this. And it'll make him stronger. And and making him stronger is good because he's my best friend. He's content. And he's... Yeah, this is the way to go. This is the way to go. Um, because this will make him stronger because this guy's about to have two counties. Yeah, Graham, I've got like, I, I think I've got 18 or 20 videos uh, that are guides. And yeah, I think this is a good way to go here. It'll put my, it'll put my uh, domains down a little bit, but it gets rid of all the, uh, hey, I want that land. And it empowers him to be even better, which is good. What is this? Why does that screen look like that? That was weird. Oh, it's probably because it was processing the domain transference. What's up, Nick? He's actually become a very, very good steward so far. He's on the steward path. He's 27, so he'll only get better as he progresses down this. So good on him. Dreisten has got a hook on me, which I don't like. But this son of a bitch... I don't know how to revoke. I don't know how to remove him from the council. Like, he's until 924. Uh, I don't know how to do it. I, I, could, I could murder him. Oh, that's not going to work. How is that? How old are you? You're looking pretty seasoned in your older years, brother. How do you pronounce that name, man, Dead? A O K A D? <laughs> I'm Chad is always going to be there, dude. God, we're so close to this. All right, so Illand has won that war, or uh, uh, Yiland. Hey, thank you, Adam. Great name, Adam Batachia. You and I have a lot in common with our last names. Maybe I should just do a. I should blitz this and conquer it, or I blitz these and conquer them. Because uh, the reason I haven't just attacked these guys is that we're really close to getting the prestige to do a decla declaration of war on their duchy. And once we do that, we don't need to worry about Maybe we just take, let's take over East Anglia. That's probably, the that's probably a good bet. Well, if that's not a thing, I can't do a duchy war here. Because I'd rather just knock it out. Ugh. Ake. Ache? I think usually in Gaelic the vowels are pretty soft, so you'd kind of drop the E and the D or DH endings are rarely pronounced. So you're basically doing the middle of the name. Oh, so E okay? You okay? <laughs> you okay? Any Scottish vassals? Yeah, a good amount, I think. Alright, no. Yeah, he's Scott. Pictish, Gaelic, and Gaelic. Scott's spreading too because we're also we're working on actually spreading it through our guy. Damn, look at Norse. I don't like that. Insular Christianity though is uh, holding strong. We have both of the holy lands up there, which is good. Ooh, damn. You see, this is another problem. We we can't be targeting individual duchies. We have to target.
I think we just take these out. We'll do a two-prong war. I'll split our force in half, and I'll send one to each island. They don't have enough forces to fight me toe-to-toe. Um, -to -toe. So I think that's the call. This way we'll we'll build up the uh, the prestige to be illustrious, and then we'll launch an attack on Leinster, followed by East Anglia. That's probably the, that's probably the play. So let's do, let's do this. Declare war here. Conquer this county. Repositor. Okay, good. What's he part of? Well, he's going to be a part of what? <clears throat> the Kingdom of Norway. Which, I mean, maybe we just don't touch this then. Damn it, man. That's all part of Norway's kingdom. Knock out Cornwall. Uh, Franco, you're correct, but <clears throat> here's my here's my reasoning. Capturing two counties versus one is more worth it to me. So if I did a, if I declared war on this, yeah, sure, East Anglia would still have East Riding, but. I can usurp the title of East Anglia, and he, just like this guy, this is the Earldom of Derby, and he used to be the Duke of Mercia. I usurped his title, and now he's just a petty count. So, he can't really rally any strength to come back at me in any, any conceivable way. Yeah, Norway is not united, so I don't have to really worry about it, but... Does anyone even have the title for Kingdom of Norway? And no claimants. No one, I, I don't think anyone even has. Well, Upland's got a significant amount. They're close, they're closest to it. It's either that, or we chip into Wales real quick. We can take Cornwall. Um, we can take this county. I think this is just an individual county in and of itself, too. Oh, they're... No, they're allied with Wessex. We don't want to attack that. Maybe Gwent is just it. We just smash out Gwent. Okay, so where do we go, guys? Do we go to Wales and, and chip out pieces of Wales? Uh, probably Cornwall. It's probably our best. Yeah, that would probably the best bet. Or do we take out the Northern Isles and take these two locations? We don't have a truce. Oh yeah, we do have a truce with Darby, or else I would take out Darby. That truce lasts for four more years. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I agree with you guys. So let's just do that real quick. We'll do... We're going to just do both these war at the same time. Uh, goals reclaim Britannia. Uh, juggling pimp. <laughs> juggling MP. <laughs> conquer this. And we're doing a conquer because I want it to get a little bit more... Uh, actually, I believe... We have 75 things. Yeah, we want, we want conquer. Conquer. 
We'll do a two-prong war here at the same time, like I said. Because they're allies. And this will be quick. Let's do this here. Well, it won't really matter. It's not that much further, but... Yeah, we'll do... I'm going to summon all my armies here. And we're going to combine these two, then split them off into two armies, and splitting our forces just 100% in half. Combine this. Now, I, I don't know if... Sp I don't know if this are uh, roughly equal armies. Let's see. I've never tried it. Nope, that's not roughly equal, equal at all. Okay, split off a new army. Oh, can I not split the... Damn, I thought I could do like, oh, you'll do 5 and 5, 10 and 10. Two and So what we'll do then is I'll do my light footmen levies. And I'll give them some of the knights. Give them my weaker knights. Earl Urkel. I don't want that guy to actually be out there. And I'll give him one good knight. Sigbjorn. You will go right for there, and you, hmm, let me go here. What's up, Kakaloa? It's gonna cost some money to disembark on all this, but. Unfortunately, Earl, I cannot afford. No! Oh. I don't afford such things. Who's Adamar here? In a dungeon? Go com just be converted. And you give me money. They might make a they might make a break from my capital. Which is worrisome, but we should be okay. Uh how so, man dead? Dude, whoa, 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 whoa. Did she gain the trait pregnant twice? suspect to me. We've we've discovered Banus. Even though I know it's not that. So what do we do next, guys? Um, we do barracks. Yeah, I mean, we have onagers, mustering grounds, Cassus Belly. We don't really do those, though. Hmm. Planning might be good. Public works is good. Our current, I mean, city planning kind of seems like the best. 
Really? Is that what that means? I didn't know that I didn't know that that's what that meant. I thought it was just some sort of weird glitch. Oh, like we're gonna have your twin, brother. It's too bad I don't get any cool like stuff, you know. Get to. Uh... Oh, we'll get there, Matt. Matt, we will get there, my dude. All right, good. They're gonna come right into this. Capture an air, even better. Careful, man. I am a tyrant. How about ledger? I don't think we can get ledger. Is ledger there? We already have ledger, which is nice. Two months. We should be fine. Fight this. I, mean, I could swap it to me, but it should be okay. Public works? Public works we don't have. But we don't have anything near that that development yet. And we're gonna need to get plenty of Oh no 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 no. Where is Adopt Feudal Ways? We have to have all the tribal innovations anyway. Yeah, the uninvolved. <laughs> okay, so I'm kinda of a little worried here, but it should be okay. Our champion was very wounded. Bulky. Oh, just crushing him now. Our champion, Earl Crow, maimed Arnie. Alright, so as soon as we finish that, too, we'll be uh, in good shape. This is going to slowly tick up to the way it's got to be, or the 100. Thanks, man, dead. I don't think I have it set too crazy or anything. I, mean, I guess I have it set to like really high <laughs> on everything. Gallery. Yeah, maybe we would do this. Then as soon as we finish those... Oh, ha-ha! Tag Alpen, huh? Ooh, wait a minute! My wife is cheating on me. Oh. Do I have two wives? Oh, yeah, I've got two wives. <laughs> Oopsie. I like Tag. Alexander is another great Scots name. Summerled. Ronald. Ronald de Chatillon. <laughs> Ronald it is. I like Ronald. And I'm actually going to put him into... Well, we'll see what he develops. I didn't realize I had... When did I get her as a wife? <laughs> Damn it. OS, I didn't think of that. If if we get a kid with robust and... Um, robust and genius, we'll name him Arthur. <laughs> and you are... No, did I?
No, this has got to be... Oh, I got four others in that one? Ooh, buddy. You know what? In a bid to just kind of move things along, maybe you know what? Do this ransom? Are any of them good? Really good or anything? He's fourteen and he's sickly. Child, be ransomed. Go home. Yeah, you do, Franco. Don't send me, don't send your war bus my way. You shan't like the outcome, buddy. You're going to get disembark penalty. I'm going to judo chop you in the neck. And we will release this prisoner, get this money. Might as well just scalp him of all of his money right now. Who is this guy? Arneson. Oh, uh, it's the heir's son. What's up, Vitze? What? Why does she have 69 claims? What the hell? Who is this person? Who is this guy? Oh, Heston. Oh, ho, 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 ho. that's kind of nuts. That is... We can't recruit her. And who's this? Oh, I don't have him in my dungeon. I'd kill him and then be like, oh, let's just go ahead and make you a wife. That is crazy. You mean you wouldn't accept that? What about this? Go ahead and land here. Oh, that's a good point, Edie. She is a child. I thought I thought I couldn't because you typically can't remove people like that that are like important. Don't want to do anything here, huh? 
Alright, well, let's com conclude this one. A few champions. A few champions. Fort Hoffen up there. Um, we don't actually don't need to have you leave. Stay there and we'll disband in a sec. No reason to spend the money. No, Edward, no! Maimed Gilroy, oof. There we go. You've but lost an eye, brother. Admittedly, you're very good. <laughs> and we'll just go ahead and enforce these demands, too. Okay. Disband all. Let me just pee real quick, guys. We are now illustrious, so we've got some big wars ahead of us. So one sec. Okay, uh, I apologize, guys. Give me one second. I have to fill out this housing application because I have to get it into our prospective landlord ASAP. So 
so I need just two minutes. I apologize, 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 but um, I'm gonna I'm gonna be right here. So if you have any questions, please ask away. But if we don't get this in, there's a chance we just would not get the house. So I have to do this right now. No, Ugly Tugo, we are definitely not over yet, man. We have quite a bit ahead of us. Don't we all, bastard? <laughs> Does anyone ever memorize their license plate number? I certainly have not yet. I did on my first car, you know? It's like the the car I had to always uh, do stuff with, but... Not my newest one.
All right, sorry about that, guys. Just about done here. No, everything's fine. I just hate filling out. Like, I hate manually filling out paperwork that should just be digitized. Cannot wait.
Alright guys, like I said, if I don't <clears throat> get this done, there's a chance I won't have a place to live. So, doing this, super importante. Okay, we are all done guys, I'm going to give this to my roommate and we're good to go. Okay, man, I, just, I hate filling those things out. You need a place to live, you just need a positive output and custom Twitch emotes. <laughs> Yeah, this is the community uh, flipper pack. We did all this. We're all good here. We have set all this up. So let's give these two to Scots. So I want an adult. I want a male, and I want someone who is a Scot, and also a not a ruler. Damn it! I knew that would be the case. Because I want to grow the Scottish lands. I mean, I could make them... I could give it to a Norse insular and we would have less problems. And create a duchy up there. Hmm. 
Damn, damn, damn. We need to get more Scots in the realm, man. They are awful counties. They're awful counties. <laughs> yeah, uh... Plancina. The High King of Ireland here. He's still around. <laughs> so yeah, maybe we just give it to, to the Norse. And that way they'll they'll do what they do, you know? So let's find us a Norse... I need culture... It's a West Germanic group. Well, I guess not. Who has a high opinion of me, then? Ewan? No, hell no, man, dad. Hell no. James Mint dropping a $5 donation. Thank you very much, man. Thank you very, very much. Thank I can invite Deceitful onto my council. There's Norse. Okay, this guy might... Uh, well, he's sadistic, but he's humble. Sadistic doesn't affect me. I mean, this guy's actually also not a terrible dude. I mean, he's humble, and he's shy, and he's diligent. So I could... What about his son? His, size, his, his son is shy right now, so... I could just keep... I could make this guy the, the duke of all of this. But maybe just doing... I think actually, you know what? We should really... Whoa, whoa that jumped up to four, level four? Jeez. I definitely will try to, man. <clears throat> this guy's compassionate, brave, and arbitrary. I think I think he'll do. Give him a uh, they are. I don't even know how to pronounce it. Yeah, we'll give him Scotland. Or not Scotland, sorry. He'll give him uh, the island of Shetland. And he can create the duchy if he so wishes. Ooh, we're ambitious, huh? Well, I hope we do this. Is this the ruler? So now we can do some duchy wars. And I think Ireland is the first best bet here. Um, <clears throat> or this war, duchy, Leinster, Leinster. Uh, not yet, Andrew. I'm pretty good about that. Um, and then we'll take East Anglia. Lion, I'm, I'm happy to do it, man. Thank you very much for watching, most importantly. Raise the armies! Assemble everyone up and move right into it. Oh yeah, send, send me your... Do this guy. That's fine. Oh, I have a daughter. Alice. An unremarkable one. Alice is probably one of my favorite female names, though. Right, y'all!
Got him. Oh, uh, it's supposed to be me. Oh well. Seven days? Let me see if we can beat him to it. Got him too. Alice is one of my favorite uh, name, names for women. For, for women. For a woman. It's either Alice or Melanie if I had a daughter. Ooh, what did it say? Champion. Alright, we wounded one of their guys. Yeah. Oh, so we got some good prisoners right there, it looks like. Marcus. Marcas. Uh, this guy is pretty good, actually. Demand conversion to recruit him. Guest. Hey, I mean, this guy's... He's a zealot. Catholic zealot. Of the Woad Raiders. Well, you can... You may... You may go home. Oh, I didn't mean to lose the dread. Ah, well, that's just not good. I do need more Scottish vassals, but I don't need this kind of Scottish vassal. Let's just at least gain a weak hook on him and have him go about his way. I don't I don't want this guy. Yeah, we'll do that. I I I know he's there's nothing wrong with him, but I don't want or that bad jump jump around me. I did fried chickens. I did. Uh oh. So that was just taken over. And that's super weak. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Promote culture. Good. Promote more culture, then. Scots are getting bigger and bigger and bigger, which is lovely. Lothian itself is all Scott. Might as well finish off this little Pictish one. Three years, three years. Well, this is really three years for the most part. I don't see any quick ones. Yeah, we can get Iceland in due time. I mean, we're at war with Austerland. Uh, try reloading? Um, Dragon? That's really weird, dude. Oh! <laughs> Alright, so this needs to quickly conclude. So we can do that.
pause that. Okay. Keeps in Pagan, huh? Pagan the Young! So they're probably going to go for my capital, but I'm right by theirs. So... I mean, we can just simply crush this right here, right now. I don't want to give this to, to Flan Sinna, because he'll assume himself king. And that's just not good for anyone. <laughs> Look at people by age here. Let's see if we can find anyone. Okay, this guy's compassionate, arrogant, and patient, and Gaelic. Well, he's Irish. Keep it kind of in the Irish and insular. I will go with you. You have a likelihood to be killed in battle anyway, so. The unfortunate thing is, I can't just... Because I want to roll over on this guy. Hard. But I can't. Wait, 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 what's going on? Camp dispute. Diplomacy challenge. You gain 20 dread. The onlookers join in. Whoa, ho, ho, ho. Can I have her? Oh, ooh, ooh, is she okay? Hope she's okay. She's ill. Should be fine. Scary. Well, 64% chance of succeeding, and I kind of want to see what happens if I have no impact on the argument. Resolution. I get up and deliver a speech about how we are all fighting for the Kingdom of Scotland, and we must stand united against our foes. For if we don't, there are many outsiders who would take advantage of our internal squabbles to seize our lands and impose their own rule on us. Looking abashed, uh, Krumael and Mael Muir apologize and get ready to settle in for the night. Oh ho! What is this? Faster nuts. Back to managed domains. I mean, marshlands are kind of pain the pain in the ass, but we outnumber him so much. Our champion killed a chieftain. Uh, this guy, some Larthy, Larthy. Oh, you can join the brawl. <laughs> That's kind of cool. All right, so that arm just got trounced. Berger here, the champion. So I'm just waiting for something to make landfall on my army. Nice. Another marshal. Number of knights plus four is kind of nice. Living off the land is a raid speed and supply capacity. Parthian tactics for cavalry. Envelopment. And an encounter. That's pretty nice. Serve the crown. And natural red plus 15. Full growth. Courtship. That's actually kind of nice too. This one's huge. Skills from spouse, counselor, task plus 25%. Maybe we kind of go down this line to get us to Gallant here. We have a Marshal appointed, yes, Owen. This is a good one too, because all those guys are in our armies. Get a marshal over there? Get a marshal where? Serve the crown.
Maybe we, I'm thinking of going down this line just to get us into uh, promising prospects for our children and loyalty and respect. I think that's kind of huge. These things are good, but we're already pretty much on a rampage. Although living off the land is really nice for supply capacity. Oh, th oh, and thank you. We'll do courtship. We'll just to get us into promising prospects. Look at that, he did it. That's lovely. Welcome back to the council, Yara. Look at his little hat! That's good, because that's the guy who forced himself on the council. Now he's dead. Good riddance. Well, just sacked Desmond here, which is nice. I don't know where their other armies are, and it's kind of worrisome for me, because they will attack my mainland, but that's okay. We should make, the, we should make it there within the amount of time. You mean I have a thing against me? Incorruptible is being a penis. We shall sway him. Right, has a sweet hat. Let's actually break off and go attack him. Oh, he got killed. Can we make... Can we get... Ah, get some more champions up in this piece. Yeah, see, I remember how I said Wessex is going to try to take over uh, Bedenford, and that's what's happening right now. The Bucking, the Buckingham claim on the Earldom of Bedenford. Interesting. Oh, oh, we're expanding. Who are the belligerents? Oh yeah, that's down here. Buckingham, right there. Okay. Pregnant yet again, dude. She's pumping him. Oh, I see what you're doing up there. That shan't avail you. Alright, so this is all insular, right? Yeah. Come back, man. I want to. I want to be friends. Ooh, he's shrewd. Like that. Lovely. Your absent courtiers. Why is that? Why is he absent? Oh, because he's being trained. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Diplomacy and learning. Perfect. I do want him to go into learning. Piglet, you're such a you're such an astute learner of law.
Yeah, well, 33 is not bad. Hey, um, look at my chant and look at this photograph. Force you to be a champion. I did that. I don't remember doing it though. Mm. Excuse me. Excuse me again. Yeah, man. You're so astute. <laughs> Might as well go sack these other like ones like Difflin down here. Cause I don't want to go. I don't want to go into the wetlands if I can not do that. Do I have anyone worth no? I don't want to come over here and do this war. They've just got no soldiers, so I'm just kind of dunting them. First time I just you, cops you just died from malnourishment. No. All right, child. You must be trained. He's already got a guardian. I'll let it just kind of do its thing. Pop Siege was so sick. My son, Duff. Duff McAlpin over here. Duff's a good name. I'm going with Duff. I have like 40 kids. Just go on ahead and taking all your guys here. Earl Arkle passed away. You can no longer sway him, huh? That's another guy. So who, uh... Germano di Ercole. Oh, I will sway you then. You drunkard. Let's actually split this army here. Oh, is it though? Darby shall be inducted into the lands of Scotland. Should be building there. What's it called now? I don't know what it's in half. Cool, he made the duchy the, for the Isle of Man, which is good. Chieftain... Colin, the just of man. The oldest son here, as he comes of age, I will probably make him the Duke of Albany. We should probably try and find him a worthy wife. 
Sort it by age. Oh my god, that what's this? Why does that like that? Oh my oh my poor child, you got typhus! Eh. I'm kind of I'm kinda of big here on uh Maria, just to kind of bring pretty into the bloodline. Get a little alliance down there though with Jaffa that I don't really want. That's far away, Jesus. You know Jerusalem was created, huh? Cornelia of Jerusalem. Jerusalem's actually I mean it's kind of large, all things considered. Uh yeah, YouTube user the Northern Isles and Man both created their own duchies. Yeah, take the gold, do the thing. And breeding the game. Oh, I'm playing it, Goji. How you doing, little buddy? Do you miss the hot dogs? So we got plenty of stuff to deal with now. Let's deal with it. Yeah, they can create their they can create their own titles. They cannot create a title though that would make them independent, I don't believe. I believe. I think they're, they're kind of relegated to that. So let's take a look at some people. Chieftain Matt's the giving. I don't have anyone worthy of a war score, right? No, I don't. So this is great. So Matt's the giving. You'll definitely ransom yourself to me for 50 gold. Baggy Bjornsson. This guy's a good vassal, man. But I don't want any more Norse vassals. You. I see. Oh, this guy's going to do for that. I thought we captured him himself. Oh, we don't, we don't. How dare you, Goji. Thirty for himself. Done. Ten for this guy. Is he worthy of anything? Well, he's a pretty good fighter. But let him go back. He's he's old man. Rothgar. Ten for that. Rothgar will be burned at the stake. Frothy, frothy, will be burned at the stake. Gout ridden. Prison by you in Lothian. How long have you been in prison, lady? I do have a Kingdom of Jerusalem campaign we could do. Um, I have a... Uh, look at that massive amount of stuff right there. I don't even know who you are. So you're Ivar the Boneless's great... Or you're Ivar the Boneless's granddaughter. Perhaps uh, your great-granddaughter. Great-granddaughter. No, just granddaughter. Just granddaughter. You've got a lot of claims. And those claims are on my land. Which are both wanderers. Just... Just go.
Uh, we've done enough to your family. Be gone. That was an extremely successful war. That was such a good war right there. Woo! Yeah, 100% Edie. Edie said that he, she, he, she has never uh, created the duchy for the Isle of Man. Just lets the uh, count do it, and that's exactly what I did. I was like, ah, he'll do it. He'll do it when he gets the money to do it. So, what kind of wars can I do on you, buddy? 375? I can almost do this, but I also need to be a paragon of virtue, which I am not. I am most certainly not a paragon of virtue. But the Jarldom of Munster would be good. I could subjugate him. But see, I don't want to take lands over there in Denmark. That That's my kind of problem here. Because if I take the land over there in Denmark, then it's just another issue for me. Um... See, the problem is, since these are separate, well, I can't, I can't, can I do this? No, you need both, okay. Exactly, exactly, Edie. It's not taking it, it's holding it. And I don't want to have to go over here and fight any wars here. I, I think I'd rather just like, Okay, here, take take the land if someone attacks me. Because I don't want to get involved in all of this crap. Like, look at all this. Look at all these little, just like, little states that want to just pick me apart. Take Denmark and give it to a disinherited child. Oh, that's, you know, Adam, that's actually not a really bad, that's not a bad idea. Like, well, I don't have any disinherited kids, but get get the kingdom of Denmark see here would I would that be enough one two three four then I would need to take five six seven eight if I took this I could create the dingdom the dingdom the kingdom of Denmark and then give it to a child taking the Irish part should get your ticking war score no well Tom I just don't want to do it like I don't want to I don't want that land I don't physically want to own it yeah, give it to a son and make him an independent ruler. That's actually that's actually not a bad idea at all. That's actually a very solid idea. Because when it comes to succession, Constantine's going to take Lothian and then the accompanying he'll take Lothian and oh, he won't take that, huh? This is why I don't like having a lot of kids. <laughs> hmm. Why do I have a treaty with the Went? I didn't attack them. No, man, dad. No, dude. I don't want him. I don't want him. Let's do this real quick, though.
Ooh, West Francia took all that. I do not like that. Ethelbald. Yep. Yeah, uh, Hereward here is gonna definitely be, uh, definitely be joining us. <laughs> the Knight of the South? Are you kidding me? Of course. Wait for him to accept that. Ooh, let's help her. Okay. Awesome prospects. Perfect. Yeah, he's very good. There he is. Ba bam. This guy is great, man. Look at this dude. Mastermind philosopher, age 26. Whew. He's good, dude. Insular Anglo-Saxon. I, I might just land him. He's sadistic, just, and stubborn. So, it is what it is, but I think he's kind of a cool character. And we'll just go ahead and enforce these demands. Yeah, that guy is definitely going to be... Definitely going to be something. Dude, this guy's held on for so long. I, I love this little guy. We don't even have another court dwarf to replace him with. He passes on. What's up here, Lona McNeil? You used to be the champion of champions. You were the Indigo Knight. But, I think, unfortunately, he were the Knight of the South is going to be replacing you, dude. Good lord, this guy's a beast. Oh, yeah, 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 uh-huh, 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 for sure, for sure. <laughs> so, inheritable traits here. Not married to my daughter. No, thank you, sir. Just hail. Daughter would make, would make a great... Breeding partner with him. Mm. This is the best option, really, though, is Hale. But she's chased. That's even worse. No! I guess I can make intelligent giants. I'm sorry, lady. <laughs> you and the mountain are going to have a quick kids. Quick kids. Beautiful does increase her fertility, but I was hoping to make, like, super giant kids. Dude, he is mad. You look at him, he's like, are you kidding me right now? <laughs> what do you need? What do you mean you need to buy two plane tickets? Ah, uh, you don't. You don't. You're right. <laughs> Excuse me. Brian Blessed has intense teeth. If, if anyone's ever noticed that. Like, I was watching him talk the other day. I'm like, good lord. I mean, I could. Oh, that's my daughter. My daughter. Shona. My daughter Shona. All right, we'll do the Cumbrian here. Do that. And actually, I want to land this guy. I think he's a really cool character. But I don't know. I, I kind of. I mean, he's not really the best. I mean, should this guy be landed? I feel like he should. If I put him here, though... I kind of want to make him a duke. Oh, we got some Scots. We got some Scots, guys.
Ewan Wallace isn't bad. In fact, he's quite good. Master of the Horse of Duke Duncan. I think actually what is better to do here is save these guys. This guy's compassionate, content, and arrogant. Content empath. This one's a really good character in general. But he is lustful. I'm always kind of wary of them. But you know what? Like, what's, what's a little fun here, right? So this guy might make actually a really good duke. But so would Brian McCollin. And Brian McCollin, though, I think is... Yeah, he's the primary heir of the Duchy of Man. So if I make him a duke and he takes over, then he'll be like a double duke. He'll be this duke and East Anglia. Because that's the next duchy I'm going to take. Probably. Oh, I guess I could take... I could take anything, really. Yeah, everyone's kind of dangerous right now, Tom. Everyone's a little dangerous. So... Essex, Wessex... A dookie duke. Duke is the name of my first dog. Kent would be a good target. And why Kent is a good target is that it gives me Canterbury. And by giving me Canterbury, I would get this holy site. All right, please click this. Thank you. Sway scheme power plus 10% and religious vassal opinion plus 5. Set up, <laughs> set up a make an alliance with Flanders. And set up some English wool trade. You spicy bastard. I could make him the Duke of Northumbria, but do there is no land for him to take. So these guys have to be the Dukes of Northumbria. And this guy's unfortunately on his way out, little guy. Murray! I'd probably make this guy the Duke of Northumbria, if anything. Earl Corb, the uninvolved. Because he's, look at all that, I mean, he's calm, he's content, he's humble. What's the benefit of having a holy site? You get these benefits. So right now, all insularists get a monthly piety bonus of 5% and learning per level of devotion plus 1. Because we have Armagh. Armagh. And then county conversion speed in British Isles is plus 30% because I have Iona. So that's what's allowing me to convert everything to Insular so fast. And you don't even need to... So all that has to happen is it has to be an Insular ruler. It doesn't need to be you. So if this guy decided to convert to Insularism, Insularism, Insular Christianity, then he would give me that. Armagh, okay. Oh, Monty Python restaurants. So what do we do next, guys? I mean, I could do a subjugation war here. I could do individual count duchy war. Like I could get I could get Connacht and create Connacht. Or we could get Munster. And Munster is a pretty significant portion of Ireland. But here's the issue. Okay, so maybe we stop. Maybe we stop in Ireland. Because if we get two more counties... Um, 
Actually, I think I can do this, though. There's one claimant. <laughs> I think that this, I think that this is subject to Tanistry elective. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. King of Kings. <laughs> I'm good, Hugh. How are you? Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure because... How far are we from creating this? We're close to doing this. Dude, Fez, what's up, dude? Just pure hot. Unless we can get... So the problem here is, if we have, because we are in tribal, it will force this. It'll force succession. So if I were to, if I were to make the kingdom of Ireland, that title, that title will pass down to Piglet, no matter what. Because again, we are tribal. And if I create the kingdom of England, that will then pass down in line of succession. So, unless I can add the Tanistry elective law to them and nominate my own heir. The only other way around this is if I create the Empire of Britannia, and to do so, I would need 26 more counties. Yeah, we could also add Tanistry to it. It would cost us 1 1.5, 1,500 prestige, which isn't bad. In fact, it's very, very doable. But if I were to do a subjugate, well, I guess I could just do Holy Wars here. If I just keep doing Holy Wars and I do this, the difference is that if you do a Conquer, Conquer is actually probably the better bet. You get fame versus a holy war which gives you prestige or, i'm sorry piety no mark i totally agree with you i totally agree with you in fact i really like the idea of subjugating him because we could out oh, subjugating is so cheap Yeah, because if we if we sell, subjugate him, then we can give this and we and we subjugate a well, not subjugate, but what is this? The whole thing's a duchy. Oh man! So if we take these two, I can create a kingdom, and we can give that kingdom to a son. The problem is if we have if we want to create an empire over here. We cannot really do it with the lands getting divided every time we have a kid. Right now, what are we? We're 33? So we have we have a good amount of time left. Alright guys, let me let me pee again real quick and I'm gonna fill up my water bottle. So give me like uh, five four minutes. Just uh, go ahead and go ahead, OS, about your uh, suggestion. Have you unlocked any Dynasty Perks legacies yet? Which branch did you go down? I'll show you. We unlocked Noble Veins. <laughs> I'm gonna enjoy this new rug.
Yeah, I could attack Wessex. That's actually not a bad idea at all. Give Piglet just a couple counties to the limit of lands. What do you mean the limit of lands? What's the limit of lands? Uh oh. Ooh! Edie with a massive donation today saying, God, I needed this stream today. Thank you so much for being here for all of us and making us laugh in the middle of such a crappy time. You're the best, Sparty. Absolutely. Absolutely. Trust me, it helps me out. <laughs> Just as much as it helps you guys out. It It is, I think, throughout the entirety of all of this situation, having work and content and streams to rely upon to kind of, it's like a social outlet, you know? So it is nice to kind of have that the whole time, like especially when it all started. Oh man, I don't think, I was I was pretty scared and having a lot of panic attacks when everything started out in like late March, early April. And because I was able to plug into Banner Lord, I was able to kind of dismiss it, you know? Like, man, I remember just like playing Banner Lord until like two or three in the morning when it first came out and being like, Oh man, that was so fun. What was I even worried about? And then you remember what you were worried about? And you're like, oh. <laughs> What's more peaceful universe? Middle Earth or Warhammer Fantasy? Middle Earth, hands down. Because Middle Earth it only has like its its points of conflict versus Warhammer Fantasy is like a constant roiling uh, series of wars. They'll count towards inheritance. Ah. When you get the Britannia title, will you create the, fro the flotilla to rule the waves? No, I'll, uh, I'll have my men uh, get control of Vesper and Minoc and all the other lands of Ultima Online. <laughs> the world of Britannia. Thank you very much, Pro Ally. I appreciate that, dude. All right, so Gwynedd has gotten bigger. They absorbed some folk. Man, I'm, I'm kind of a little worried now about succession. I'm really far away from it, but... I just blew my nose and it's like, oh, I got little bugs hanging out. I'm far away from it, but it's close enough that I'm worried about it. And it's mainly that I'm worried about creating this kingdom of England through succession. I only need four counties and it creates itself on succession no matter what. Wessex did get into Brittany, yeah. Get into the cookie jar. But West Francia got into Cornwall. Stammerer. Mm. What's up, Ben? How you doing, my dude? Yeah, I mean, we talked about the Angevin Empire. In, in name, right? It's not the actual... It's not an actual empire. But... We would have a larger span of land, the Angevin Empire. All right, Hugh, thanks for jumping in, man. Okay, then let's decide here, guys. What do we do now? I could do a subjugation here and grab all of Scott, all of Ireland, plus this little sliver on this side. This we can then work to making the. The, the king title of Tanist or king title of Ireland a Tanistry elective or do we just kind of ignore them for now knowing that we can roll onto them anytime we want with subjugation and maybe attack Kent to get Canterbury or uh, Witcha sorry I don't know or East Anglia I mean because we can take Norfolk uh, Norwich, Norfolk and Suffolk pretty easily But the Empire, what we need is 22, we need 22 more. So let me look, yeah, let me see. So 26 more, 26 more counties. So this would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And after that, that would leave us with 17 more counties. There is a holy site in Kent. So if we took Kent, there is a holy site in Kent Actual. That's where Canterbury is. Ten. 
Take Denmark, give it to one son. Take Brittany and give it to another. That's actually not a bad idea at all. Oh no, no peace, just war. Oh no, dude. <laughs> Okay, so attack Kent next. I don't, what kind of declaration of war can I even do with this guy? I mean, yeah, there's no kingdom I could do. You see, it's all territory, all titles held. Okay, okay. I mean, that's not really worth it. I can just do duchy wars. Wessex, Essex, and blah, blah, blah. So yeah, we'll do probably Kent. We'll do these two probably at once. Oh, they're so weak now. Who's this, the schemer? Oh, do of Aquitaine's your ally, huh? Well, we'll go there. And what are you? Westphalia. Interesting. We shall do that. And we wanted an aggressive ruler with this character. That's why he's chivalry and he's just kind of going down that pretty hot and heavy. Oh, Darby. Um, let's do Darby to... We're going to give him away. Yeah, we'll give Darby to this guy. And then we're going to do this. Grant him a vassal. And that guy who's ambitious. So it might kind of... It might kind of... Curtail him a little bit. And he'll like us more. So that's good. So the lands of Lancaster are... De jure what they are supposed to be. Yes, good. And then I'll make that, that new dude uh, the Duke of Kent. Scottish culture is slowly expanding, as you can see up here. Scots are getting there. Well, Gwynedd is three separate uh, is three separate duchies, unfortunately. See? It's, it's the Duchy of Mercia. Which I'm surprised hasn't had its own little war on from my guys. I don't know where Argyle is. It's been good, no peace. I haven't been able to watch a lot of it lately, though. I've just been I've been so busy with trying to like kind of figure out my moving situation. So let's station besiegers here. Reorganize this. Do that. Do this. We'll put a little bit more in here. Select this as our main army and go and attack them. A tanned bridge. So... Uh, up north, the Isles. Which one of the Isles? The Hebrides or the Isles Isles? Damn, we can't even... Ah! 
Can't loot Kent. <laughs> but man, all this has been all this has been raided pretty recently. What we should do though, we should do a we should raid Winchester. Because it'll give us development. Here's Scott's on the map. No! Oh, don't care. Just realized who that is. Oh, no. My uncle, who was already kind of a snake in the grass. All right, Clementia. Do you have a husband? You do! Why don't I have kids? So Athelstan here. More car. Bald. You guys are in bad place, for I am not a uh, not a kind god. Snake in the Chad. Am I right? Okay, could you just do that, please? Thank you. Just getting captive after captive over here. They can. No court physician, no! He has passed on. By the way, that's a mod. You would not be able to know that otherwise. <laughs> so let's look at my... I think I have to look in my realm. My court? My court, right? I gotta look at my court. Well, he's actually, he'd make a great court physician. So point is court physician. Of course, Andrew. Okay. Is this a heretic I see before mine eyes? Okay, the Reeve is going to pay his own way out. And this Reeve is going to pay his own way out. Let them do their thing. But Anyo was a bishop. Is a bishop. He's a good bishop, actually. How good of a bishop are you? Not a good enough bishop, I see. <laughs> we could convert him, have a Bavarian uh, insular Christian guy here. But thematically, killing him might be a bit cooler. <laughs> Dr. Chad the Holy. Indeed. I mean, do I need this 18 education, dude? I mean, he, he could be a good high almoner in the future.
Yeah, maybe good for mentoring. Well, you know what? We'll do it. All about taking good characters, because the rest is just going to be completely destroyed. Well, you don't want your wife back, huh? I'm about to kill her. So let's see who we keep on enforcing these demands. Countess Wolfhild will become my... Okay, well, I suppose so. Canterbury, good. Third wife. Hmm. I think we'll just kind of here. We'll demand your convert. Nope. We cook. Give me a hook. That'll be fine. Go away. Passionate, okay. Okay. Piglet, you, you little badass. Renald de Chatillon is doing well over here. Rachel! Now Duff. Oh, we got a lot of kids. This guy is... D dude, Constantine's actually... He's turning out to be an amazing character. I think that... Honestly, I think I should do this. Uh, it's a lot of just a lot of selective breeding, Andrew. We are taking uh, the penalty because of few wives, but we just don't need any more wives, man. We have so many kids as it is. I don't necessarily want to marry him into Aquitaine. I mean, I can marry him into Wessex, but I don't really want to do that either. Evil princess. And yeah, I could do this. I was hoping that Piglet would be the would be our heir. But maybe we do this and get we get an alliance with Jaffa, which I think we would just never honor. Yeah, it's the sisters for alliances, the sons for traits, 100 percent Totally agree with you guys on that. Yeah, let's do this. I, I've had my eye on this one for some time. <laughs> that sounds so creepy. Bosk. That I mean Bosk is over here. Right over here. But Joppa's all the way down. Don't worry, a bit of infighting and Piglet will make it there. <laughs> Piglet, this sounds like you've had experience with this. So we'll do that. That's a good little that's a good ditty. Let's find a good alliance for her now, though. Ooh, good one with Asturias. I wonder if there's any matrilineal. Throw a 
Gracia, Moray, Kira. Nothing overly cool here. But let's see what we can do. Yeah, Jaffa's down here. Arthur McTulor, the Ramsey. I mean, I could do this. Actually, if I do do this, I can attack East Anglia because we're both... Like, I do this with, like, maybe Duff. And where is Duff in the line of succession? I mean, I know he's at the very end, but what does he get? He gets Sussex and Dunbar. That could be good. That could be actually pretty solid. And since he's at the bottom of succession, he's not as important of a son. It gives me a good... Pierce Brosnan, you son of a bitch, man. Or I could do... I could do Renald. Oh, Renald's kind of a beast, though, too. He's the, ha he's the handsome, robust one. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, Andrew. I love that, man. Okay, we'll do that. I think we'll do a Duff here. No, we just married Constantine for the trait. West Francia... Remember how we were saying, like, no, North Rangia always gets smashed out. Ooh, look at that. I can marry Piglet to Lothrangria. Lothring Lothringia. Baby and a 10 year old, what could go wrong? Everything. <laughs> Actually, here's what we're going to do we're going to put Ewan in charge of these two uh, Surrey and Sussex. Because he's he's got the potential for he's just a really good character, and it, it's better to have that guy as a. We can create. Who's Elaine? Do I care about Elaine? I just don't. I don't. Create the Duchy of Kent. I will give that to this guy just to empower him because he's going to need help down there. Perfect. Cool. Hmm. Interesting that he put Sussex as his capital. Oh, he can't, because Kent is the capital, duh. We can create that soon. I'm very... Yeah, time to take East Anglia, I think. I'm just kind of wary. I'm very wary.
I'm not going to die anytime soon. It's just like, man. How many titles do I have? Two duchy titles. Who's in line for the duchy of Alba? Lord Piglet. Well, unfortunately, Iceland is not a kingdom. It's duchy. I love hearing about any kind of space exploration. <laughs> you made it a kingdom. Oh, you son of a bitch, man, dead. You maker of mods, you. Okay. Oh, I won these battles. That's good. A few spouses. I know. I know. Even no good spouse to add into the mix here. No, no, no. I get a thousand because I'm so prestigious. Do we have any other prisoners? Oh, we have a lot of prisoners. Damn. Oh, let's hit that. Some of these should kick through. Good. Aha! Paid a hundred to me, huh? Well, that was way more than they were supposed to. I'll take it. Alright. So all you guys are pretty much on the chopping block right now. You better, by some grace of having really great abilities... Okay, Athelbald could be a good uh, vassal. And that might be a, a, bon a, benis, a, a benis, a benefit. Because we're probably going to need some Anglo-Saxon guys. Athelstan. Goodbye. Toodles. Athelbald could be... He... I think he's kind of... What's Hakanal? What, what, what are you saying? Be able to make it so your head, your character's body, and the so your head is on your character's body in the bottom left. I, I, if I really got tricky with it, Sparrow. I'm sure I could. Beneath. Okay, Pierce, calm down, man. <laughs> now we will recruit you, but you must convert. These other two, though, I don't like ambitious. Uh, hey, English and chat, man. Or, okay, you're just gonna get a little bit of that.
come over here onto the stream and start screeching everywhere. Get you a helmet, dude. through. Uh, I think East Anglia is ripe for the picking. The Upland. Upland's actually kind of beat up. But smash out East Anglia here. Aquitaine won't join their side, I don't think. Well-chosen gift. Uh, flower display is breathtaking. And since the peasants finished planting it in the garden, walks there have been far more popular. While the gift was anonymous, Ulfir has gone to great length to make sure that I would figure out that he was behind it. Okay. Thank you, Ulfir. Thank you very much. I think. I don't think you do anything. You're scaring me right now, man. So adopt feudal ways. What else do we need to do? Yeah, Upland really has had it coming. You're not gonna, I'm not lying to you, man. Defending against this conquest that they're losing in. I can push the top crown authority. What does it do though? Well, we do need that. Yeah, yeah, also, yeah. Now I get what you're saying. Yeah, we need that. We need all the tribal innovations, which we're really not that far off from. We'll get city planning within this character's lifetime. And then we need barracks, public works, and Cassus Belly. That's it. That, that's a super doable thing. I have watched... Uh, yeah, wh what do you mean? Kyle, stop. Stop it. Have I watched Vikings? Yeah, man. I'm on episode like two or three. And I know you haven't even started. You haven't even started the majesty of what is going to become this, this, next, this last half season. I'm loving it. You need to... You need to get up on it. Yes, AP. You know, let's do. Uh... Oh, so you saw episode one, dude? How did you like episode one, though? Kyle and I, Kyle G and I, are friends in real life, guys. So everybody in chat, say hi to Kyle G. Kyle G kind of sounds like a really bad DJ, though, right? Like. Or like a like like a club promoter. Oh yo, bro, you gotta you gotta go to, you gotta go hit up Kyle G, dude. He's got the connect. He's got the connect, bro. Kyle G's the guy. Okay, let me do this. DJ DJ, Cal, D, DJ KG. <laughs> Let's do this really quick. Since he's off all spelunking doing a little war. I need to get some development. Salt in the wound. While I was at the market with Elspeth, her attention was caught by a criminal chained to the pillory. Elspeth watched him for a while. When he did, nothing but cough and beg for water, Elspeth rolled her eyes and kept on walking. Her daughter and ward. She gets callous. Yeah, you know what? Yeah. My little spy daughter, she can be callous if she wants. Or she gets arrogant or compassionate. I think callous is kind of cool. If I'm making her this like kind of like little roguelike character, I think it's kind of fun. Yeah, we'll do that. Oh, we didn't get the event. 
My guy's leading it, right? So, the event is if we go and raid some place with a higher development than you, you should get the event to increase your own development. I don't know who that is, Joss. Dude, I can really do a number here. Let's do it. We'll raid London. Dude, we can really do a number. Consider my claim to the Earldom of Galve. It is not right that Countess Edla should sit safely as a usurper in his castle. Uh, her castle? Mocking my dynasty's birthright. I don't want to press his claims, though. You're going to have to lose an opinion of me. Okay, dude. Yeah, I, I don't want to... See, if I press his claims, he gets it. And actually, that's not too terrible. It just creates an issue between these two. Right? When you press his claim, he gets the location. And he'll just have to deal with the lower opinion of me. It's not ideal, but he can go, I, I could just give him the ability to go do that on his own. Give him the protected right or whatever it's called. Dude, if I make myself the King of England though, I'll be, I'll get so much more money. Holy crap. Um, no, I got some other pressing matters, unfortunately, my guy. We'll get to it. Yeah, I'm leading the force. It's usually the capital. Oh, crap. Oh, who? Oh, disbanded. Disbanded. I'll have to look him up. I probably know of him or have heard it. Sensual. What is with this dude? Wherever I go, my champion Ulfir is sure to follow. That look in his eye, the words on his lips. Oh, he's trying to seduce me. I'll keep him close. Very close. You lay with him, how sweet, but no. Never attempt to seduce. <laughs> he loses an opinion. He'll never attempt to seduce you, and he loses even more opinion. I tired of these games. Leave me alone, all of you. Uh, how sweet, but no. Let's go up here to London. I mean, we just we've gotten so much money from raiding every bit of Wessex. No. No. Gallum, my little tiny dwarf. <laughs> Find a character. Are any dwarfs anywhere? <gasps> a dwarfs. <laughs> Grimo Wormtongue, you're here? And they need diplomacy. 
I don't know if women can serve in that portion, though. Alfier. Marry him to anyone like that? Do I have all these like female characters? Yeah, there we go. Your daughter, or your son? Nope. We are just like spelunking through the lands here of Wessex, pillaging everything. Three hundred martial lifestyle, damn. Your loyalty and respect. See, we'll rate. We'll do this. We're doing a lot of raiding right now. I have prowled through documents both ancient and of less and of less certain provenance. I finally have enough material to make the case that you are the rightful lord of the Earldom of Aaron. What's this? Oh, I don't need that. No, I cannot. Oh, did I have him? Oh, no, I did. Oopsies. I did the wrong thing there. I'm supposed to be converting faiths. Whoops, a daisy. I've, I don't think I've ever had like this much success just raiding the hell out of everything. So let's split this army in half and make this this dude a raider. You, I want you to over here you, the raider that you are, go to London. Actually, imprison Margaret. That, that'll teach you, Geronimo. Yeah. This is like... Like taking candy from a baby! There was a common the commotion among the children today. Constantine was attempting to preach among his fellow youngsters and became the target of a small fight. Elspeth intervened and did, and did what she could to protect him. Becomes brave, or calm, or zealous. Well, I think brave is good. There we go. Fire and blood. The settlement of Colchester. I'm not sure. An important stronghold in Greater East 
E6 or Essex has fallen to my raiders. We have we have the run of vast tracts of land and many of the quivering subjects and shining treasures. A petty king Ethelwolf to choose from. The troops stand ready, awaiting my command to give them direction. Development progress, nope. Yes, skilled slaves, yes. The control will change. Development level in Earldom of Essex. Progress in Earl. Yes, good. That is what we wanted, guys. That is what we got. This is ridiculous. Eva has been asking me for a stick for a horse for a long time, and I told her I would get one for her in three months if she displayed more focus in her studies. She responded that she was fine with her current dedication to her studies, reward or no reward. Tent, fickle or trusting. Intent is good for me. Uh, Pavel, or the reason I'm doing it is because it's like. I'm just doing some quick raiding, so I'm not really too in too much of a care for it. But typically, yeah, you do want to you want to be on the lookout for that kind of stuff. All right, get him back here, and we can disband all of our raiders. We just got so much money and so much fame from all that, like, we're almost exalted among men from, from just doing all that. We'll host a feast. Nald. Yeah, okay. Take the bishop. Uh oh, what's going on over here? I didn't even, take, I didn't even pay attention to what's going on in my northern lands. So they're fighting over that, okay. Ooh, he's about to lose this. Oof. Well, I can't stop it, unfortunately. No, I made him. I made him uh, the learn from the that guy. I don't want to have a weak hook on me. Screw this guy. Welcome, friends. That's unfortunate. Moray is going to be kind of ousted right here. It's unfortunate, too, because he's pretty good. When it's fighting who? Oh. The, the strike cleaning going on there. Dreisten. All right, all right, I would do whatever you want, man. I can't believe you just did that. <laughs> a lot of upheaval all of a sudden. Good, good. 
We're not. We're in culture. So I think we're about at a good stopping point. I'm about yeah, yeah, we're at three hours and ten minutes. So we'll go ahead and stop here. We've got we we didn't do a whole ton this episode, but we did do a lot as far as securing our power. Like we have got seven thousand total troops to call on. Actually, I'm actually going to stop this guy from doing this, and I'm going to have him do. Yeah, I want that refresh rate. Get that up. And what we'll do too is next episode we'll take East Anglia and we'll probably create the Kingdom of England, which will give me a ton more levies and gold because if you look at our vassals right now. What's going on here? Oh, look at our vassals. What's wrong with our domain? Look at our vassals. Some of them say that I'm not the rightful liege, right? Well, that guy's never going to say it. He wants me to have a, the, a different kingdom. This guy says, hold the kingdom of England. So Duke Duncan uh, will give me less because of that. If I hover over this, um, his contribution is lessened because he wants me to hold that title. Rowinger, thank, thank you very much, man. Let's go ahead and roll credits on that note too. So that'll be our focus of next episode on Saturday. We'll be streaming again on Saturday. You guys can see that going hot and ready and live and hot and ready and ready and live. Let's give out some uh, some thank yous here. We have a lot of donations today. So starting us off with our first donation was David Daniel Luck. Thank you very much, man, for the $4 Canadian. Um, then we had pick. <clears throat> Piglet with the massive 500 Swedish Kronu. As always, thank you very, very much, Piglet. DC swinging in again with the 10, uh, those are pounds, 10 pound donation. James Mint with a $5 donation. Fez Waller with just a hot $5 donation. ED Sellers with the 25 direct to PayPal donation. Thank you very, very, very much. And then Rellinger with the 20 Norwegian Kronu to um, play us out here today. So thank you guys very much for watching here. Uh, we'll be back on, it was kind of a low-key stream, right? Oh, we got 90 people. What was our peak? I think it was like 117, which is about average. So we'll be back here on Saturday to hopefully kind of conclude this Scotland campaign. Uh, we're pretty close to the end. Uh, for the most part, what we have to do is take out, uh, honestly, I think if we take East Anglia, which, witchy, witchy, witch, and Essex and Wessex, we we will own enough of the uh, the island to. Oh man, there it is! A boom! Another three dollar hot one from Fez. Thank you very much, dude. We should have enough to create um, the Britannia. Like we're getting, we're third, we're twenty three away. We're twenty three away, and so we'll get there pretty quick as we move closer and closer to our goal. So thank you guys all very much for watching here today. As I always say, guys, thank you. Uh, wash your hands. Stay safe. <clears throat> Let me take a look over at chat here. Yeah, and we'll be concluding our... Uh, well, not concluding, but we'll be talking more about <clears throat> the Scottish history tomorrow, or uh, on Saturday as well, too. So be on the lookout for that. We'll have a uh, huge video for the Cathay Army list that I've got all done and ready. We'll just have to record that and get that up as well. Good day to you too, Kakaloa. Thank you for coming in. Good to see you. Adam, no! We'll be back again on uh, on Saturday, dude. Richard, you stay healthy too, man. <clears throat> man, Dad, thank you very much, dude. I, I'm sorry, I still haven't read your email. I, it's been so hectic on my end, so I apologize for that, man. Thank you, Revenger. It's going to be 
It's gonna be a hard. It's gonna be a. It's gonna be a long haul. That's for sure. <clears throat> But alright guys, thank you all very much for watching here today. Thank you all to who donated, who subscribed, who became sponsors and members of the channel, as that has been happening a lot lately. Uh, but, but we'll be back here on Saturday. Everyone, please stay safe, wash your hands, but have a good one and take care.